السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل آرزی دنیا اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ایم ناٹ گوئنگ ٹو ریئیکٹ آن اینی ویڈیو بیکاز ٹوڈیز ویڈیو از این اپیل اینڈ اپیل ٹو پروٹیکٹ آور کڈس دس مین ہیز بین کانٹیکٹنگ کڈس چلڈرین اینڈ آسکنگ دیم ٹو اسپیک ٹو ہیم ٹو ٹاک ٹو ہیم الون ود آؤٹ انفارمنگ دیئر پیرنٹس اینڈ کیپ واٹ ایور دے ٹاک امنگ دیم سیلف and not share it with their parents. He went on to the extent to suggest the kids to go on no contact with their parents and not share whatever problems they have with their parents. Instead, share it with him because he is the family. He is their family. He claims to be their friend and he suggests them to stay away from their parents. And those talks are explicit talks. This is an appeal to protect our kids. from this man one of our sisters showed the courage to stand up against this man but she was forced to give up this person's gang members threatened her with her daughters the person who was standing up against this man was forced to silence by his supporters by his gang members she was speaking for the protection of our kids but i want to ask those people who are not related to this guy and who are not of his group why they are supporting him why they are ready to silence our sister rather than silencing this man why they don't want to protect the kids instead they want to protect this grown up man who is claiming to be their guardian who is claiming to be their well wisher who is claiming to be their family who is claiming to be their friend kids need their family their guardian their caretaker those who live with him them kids need them the primary caregiver their parents their family their grandparents their brothers and sisters siblings their friends not any grown up man on TikTok or any other social media platforms claiming to be their friend, their family, their well-wisher when he don't even know them. Why any grown-up man will want to know any other child, any child who is not even related to him, whom he don't even know anything about? And these people, these well-wishers, inclusive people wants to protect this grown up man instead of those innocent children those innocent kids who are who don't know what is right and what is wrong who are young and who haven't seen the world yet how cruel the world is if they go unprepared in that world and this man wants them to prepare them himself what sort of world he wants to prepare them for the world where they don't even know what their gender is the world where they are confused in, even about their own identity the world where they are confused about whether they are human or animal the world where they are confused about they are single or multiple person no we don't want our kids to grow up in such a world we don't want our kids to be confused individuals when they grow up and we want to protect our kids from such people i am sure many of you might have guessed already whom i am talking about yes i am talking about one and only jeffrey marsh who is trending a lot nowadays and uh, our sister who decided to expose him but she was threatened with her daughters these people these group of people who claims to be all inclusive all supportive and uh, they claim that uh, they are f- uh, they are all in for women right women protection they threaten a woman with her daughters see how twisted their thinking their thought is how twisted their ideology is for them they are all happy and they are all supportive until you are supporting them and their ideology their twisted mind their twisted beliefs until you support them they will support you and that moment you are against them they will forget that 
the one who is against them is a woman whom for whom they are fighting many of these so called feminist women they also spoke against this sister because she was against all inclusive ideology according to them although this sister addressed jeffrey marsh as they them pronoun and she addressed according to that but she raised she pointed out the red flags in his behavior and this was also not acceptable by these people they started threatening her they leaked her non hijabi photos before she started wearing hijab So just to give context to this this is a Muslim hijabi comedian who's also a TikToker who goes by the name of Shumirun Nessa she made a couple of videos regarding a creep called Jeffrey March Hey kids his fans allegedly bullied a Muslim hijabi woman by damaging her car and stalking her and her family and sending threatening emails She released a video in which she was in tears crying she apologized deleted all the videos and she was clearly scared and then all eyes were on Jeffrey. Yes, this individual who was called out for targeting children in his videos. Hey kids. Hi kids. Guy is clearly a narcissist and I love attention. I love myself. Uh it's one of my favorite subjects. He said really concerning stuff like God looks like him. If man is made in God's image and woman is made in God's image, God must be a little bit like me. He was told that he's not special when he was young. I remember my mom saying, "You think you're so special?" in a sarcastic tone. That he had childhood trauma. And I want to talk to you about my beautiful husband and my childhood trauma. <laughs> and it now seems that he is projecting that upon his viewers as well. Nevertheless, he then released a response video in which he, rather than admonishing his fans, calling for calm, he said, "Thank you for being a good trans ally thank you for your big heart thank you for your love thank you for your support you might have noticed it's uh <laughs> things are a little hairy on the lgbtq front what are you actually thanking your people for for silencing and bringing a woman to tears who spoke the truth or for those people that stalked her on her kids and then gave the detailed times to her as if to tell her we've got our eyes on you but you might be thinking look what's shamirun maybe she's inciting the fans maybe she's getting them riled up but she released a video asking for calm those of you who are threatening other cr- content creators because you are wanting to support me don't stop it i don't want you to do that some lgbt folk do they hijack words and then they change the meaning hey you can see it being done this is one example out of many i've got a new definition for anger anger is the power of knowing that you deserve respect upon checking her videos when addressing this jeffrey guy she used his pronouns she wasn't hateful towards the lgbt community and frankly she was spot on mate she was right on the money with this guy firstly this guy is encouraging kids to go on his private patreon page and to talk to him stop telling kids to go on your patreon and chat to you privately without their parents knowing and then a lot of people made stitches of me saying i'm transphobic i've done a lot of bad stuff um they've even attacked my scarf my religion a lot of bad stuff which i don't want to go into and these people have also said they are not talking to the kids okay so i did a little bit of digging hi kids hey kids i want to talk to the kids hi kids hey kids <laughs> So yeah, there's a lot of videos of them addressing kids. Now, the main video I want to talk about. Your parents screwed up. It's okay to say so. <laughs> That's why I made a Patreon. So you want to talk to kids whose parents have screwed up? Why? Why you want to talk to these particular kids? Why? That's why I made a Patreon so that we could talk about it, so that we could connect in a way that has more privacy. so that we could talk to each other in a way that's uh more open and stuff that we wouldn't share like in the comments of a video like this i think you're worthy and so you want to talk to kids on a social media platform privately about topics that cannot be talked about in the video of tiktok's comments sections because why why you want to do that why you can't chat about these 
topics in these comments? Is it because you might get flagged or something? What, what, what could be the reason? Pretty much a threat saying I know they know where I live. And what scares me the most is um, they have got my daughter's details on the email, like what time I leave to drop them to school, pick them up. And it's not a coincidence because both of my daughters, they go to two different schools, so they know. They've given the school details and everything. So, um, yeah, my, my daughters are involved now in this. As some of you might know that my car was damaged in this whole thing. Um, I was getting not very nice videos and now emails with a lot of details on that email. So I don't, I'm done. I don't, I don't want to do anything. I'm not going to talk about Jeffrey Marsh. I've deleted everything, removed it. If you guys want to go ahead, go ahead. But please don't do, don't, don't come to my house. Do you just get on with your life? I'll get on with mine. <laughs> you guys want me to say I'm sorry? Fine, I'm sorry. Please don't come at me. Don't come to my house. Don't, don't do anything with me, because I'm just one person, one person, and specifically four or five of you have. Uh, four or five of you have kind of done stuff like some of you have found old pictures of me <laughs> and uploaded it on tiktok without my hijab so you guys have done that i know you guys are gonna you guys are gonna take the mickey out of this video so but my it's about jeff and i having sex i will tell you about going no so, you've decided to go no contact with your family. <laughs> Here again, when you start thinking about going no contact, you're going to love it. Make me sick! And the bloody icing on the bloody cake! I coach a lot of people one-on-one -on -one, who want to go no contact with their parents. And then he goes on to say, Hey, I'm gonna be your family. <laughs> if you need a family, you can come hang out with me. I love you very much. If you do not have a family that loves you, I'm going to be your family. And then the cherry on the cake, just in case there's some doubt with that kid and he loves his family. Your parents screwed up. It's okay to say so. <laughs> okay, so my first question is, why the heck is this guy still allowed to be on social media? having people do these weird dances and these drag queens coming that's going over the top mate and when it comes to our kids we will speak out listen this is the women right you are giving us this is the right you are talking about it is for you all it is either my way or highway or no way but for us it is allah almighty's way or no way so a message to Jeffrey Marsh and his followers. If you want to expose your kids as a parent, then we will stop you from that also. Let alone our kids. We will not allow you to expose your own kids to such a pervert. Such people are preying on our kids. They want to isolate our kids. They want to harm our kids. Any child is an innocent child. Each and every child is to be protected by us grown-ups. We can't let such people harm them. This is not a fight against religious ideologies, religious belief. This is a fight against basic understanding, basic human nature, basic human fitra, which is to protect our young ones. Even animals want to protect their young ones. Even birds want to protect their young ones. And we human being, the most intelligent creature. Of course, we want to protect our young ones as well. Those people who are threatening this sister with her kids, with her daughters, must be ashamed of themselves. If you are in favor of Jeffrey Marsh and his actions, then please go and speak to him yourself and have one-on-one -on -one conversation with him, one-on-one -on -one chat with him by yourself. But don't involve the kids. And this video is an appeal to all the logical and sane people who can see what this man is doing. He is a wolf in a sheep clothing. So please raise your voice against this man. It is not about the religious beliefs. It is not about different ideologies. 
it is about his behavior his creepy and pervert behavior if any heterosexual man had the same behavior i am sure each and every one would have spoken against him he would in fact have been in jail by this time but in this case just because he is from the special community who has special protection he claims to be from that community and he has got special protection of that community no one can lay a finger on him so twisted this world has become and in this twisted world in this sick world we have to raise our children but as parents it is our responsibility our duty to protect them so it is an appeal to all the parents please it is not about religion it is not about my religion or your religion it is for every religious and non religious person who are sane who knows what is right and what is wrong for your kids for your children please speak up please support this sister if it's possible for you to provide her protection her family some sort of protection then please provide it as uh, i read in one of the videos comment on youtube there was an appeal to protect her is irrespective of your religious beliefs irrespective of your ideologies she is in uk if anyone who lives there and who knows where she lives please try to protect her provide her protection please try to provide her moral support and if this video reaches her sister you are in our prayers we always pray for your protection may allah subhanahu wa taala protect you and your family and your kids may allah subhanahu wa taala give you good reward for standing up against this evil standing up and speaking against any evil is also a responsibility of each and every muslim and to jeffy marsh and his followers remember that till the end of the world until there is even a single muslim alive inshallah you will always face opposition inshallah your behaviors will never go unchecked there will be someone if you are successful in silencing one person then you will face another 10 voices rise against you inshallah jazakallah khair for watching this video with me and uh, please like and subscribe to my channel share this video as much as possible so that this message can spread to as many people as possible and comment on my channel if you have any suggestions jazakallah khair ma salam